We're here in the Golan on the Israel side, and we just came out of Syria just a day ago and checking out what was going on. And as, since we've come out, it's gotten worse. The shelling uh, is happening even as we're standing here in the background. And uh, there's a massive amount of movement of people coming toward the Israel's, uh, toward the Syrian side of the Golan Heights. You can see some of the tents in the background where they're, they've come and they're um, just seeking shelter and refuge and safety from the fighting that's, that's going on. The great news is that FAI is the, is the only organization uh, that has access to help these people. We have teams mobilized and we're, we're already in there and we're ready to um, send some more teams in to help all the people in this time of need for them as, they, as, they've, as they've headed here for shelter and for safety and security. So I, I don't know if you can see the scope of it and the scale from here, but it's thousands of people, tens of thousands of people massing here. This is a safe haven because of the no-fly zone. There's no aircraft, no Syrian Russian aircraft can come, so civilians are massing here just against the border fence. So I don't know, we'll try to get a tighter shot of it so you can see, but it's all along the border. There's these camps of thousands of people, and they're basically languishing out in the middle of the wilderness. And so what we're doing is putting teams inside to engage in one, a medical capacity, and another in a relief capacity, so food, water, etc. So right now, because the Jordanian border is closed, aid is not making it to this area because the Jordanians sealed the border to refugees going out of Syria and sealed the border for aid and relief going out of Jordan into Syria. So in many ways, Israel's become the last lifeline of civilians suffering in southern Syria. I mean, think about that. And the Israeli Defense Force has provided the majority of the tents that you see here and the aid for the civilians on the ground in these, in these camps. So we're collaborating very closely with the IDF, with our teams inside, and they've become a conduit of aid because so, tons of civilians in Israel are donating through the army and the army is shipping it in. So we've got teams on the ground to disperse that and to engage on the ground and we're really privileged to be a part of it but we need financial help so if you want to throw in on this and invest in it go to fairelief.org and you can partner with us and we can have a huge impact in the coming days because the numbers are going to be escalating as these cities along the border get pummeled by the regime we're going to see a lot more uh, uh, it's going to be some pretty heavy stuff going on for civilians in the area so Go to fairelief.org and uh, thank you for thank you for caring.